Hello and welcome to my first video on GCC Economics and today we will be focusing on factors of production. Our learning objective for today is identify and understand examples of the four factors of production, land, labour, capital and enterprise. Here are a few definitions you require to know in the exam. Production. Production is using resources to produce a final product. Productivity is output per worker per period of time. Resources are some things used to produce an output. So all of this production is how do we get these raw, raw materials to make this finished product. So capital. It refers to goods that are used to produce other goods and services. Spending on capital is known as investment. If you don't know what good is, it's just anything that you can touch. Services are intangible so you can't touch them and this is what people uh, deliver. So things like uh, a sales clerk, they will sell you the product, they are providing the service. I'll get back to goods and services in our next lesson. Anyway, uh, we have a pen, a pen is actually used as, uh, can be known as a capsule because you're using that to make an essay, that would be another good. Alright, another one is enterprise. This is having an idea and taking a risk in setting up or running a business. An entrepreneur is someone involved in taking those risks, perhaps by putting in their money or having the ideas and the drive to set up or run the business. Like Mike Zuckerberg, he took uh, he took a risk and set up Facebook. Land. Land includes both the land itself and all the natural resources on and below the land, which are available for production. The quality of the land is more important than the area of the land. So here you can see two images. Yes, you may say that the desert has a lower quality of land because you can't really grow anything there. But on the left hand side, you can see a farm where you can grow things, and that would be that would have a higher quality and you'd be able to make more use of that than the desert. However, you can actually use the desert because you can use the sand there to make glass. Our last one is labour. Labour is the human input into the production process. Not all of labour is not all labour is of the same quality. Every person has different skills and qualifications. This is called human capital. When there are, are more human capital, they are more likely to be produced they're more likely to produce more in the same time period. This is an increase in product. This is an increase in productivity. So when you produce more in the same uh, period of time, we call that. We just say that there's an increase in productivity. <clears throat> A great way of remembering all of this is sell. Sell is capital, enterprise, land, and labor. Just remember the word sell and you remember all the four factors of production. Capital, enterprise, land and labour. Here are a few exam questions you can try. This exam question states that we have to look at figure 2 to find a factor of production. That's very simple. Here is just the word capital equipment. So all, all we do is just write that here and that's it. And name another factor land. That's very simple. So we use land. Okay, sorry about that, but yeah, land, you could just say land there. Alright, another one would be uh, this one, which is state two factors of production and explain why the cost of each might rise if competition is increased. So, capital. Because high productivity is required, more capital is needed to obtain it, therefore the cost of capital increases. Labor, because this may this may rise because as, as demand for labor increases, workers can ask for higher wages. Thank you for watching, and I hope you watch my future videos and just subscribe and click the like button below. If you don't understand anything, please comment below as well. And that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.